Hello, I'm Katie Abtinari. And I'm Nathan. Today we will be presenting Orrin, Orrin Smith. Smith. The essential question is, why did Chehalis name the school after Mr. Orrin Smith? Orrin Smith was born on June 26, in 1942 in Ryder Wood, Washington. Ryder Wood is south of Chehalis. And right near Vader. In 1960, he graduated from WF West, the local high school here. In 1965, he graduated from the University of Washington, also known as the UW. In 1967, he got an MBA from Harvard Business School. An MBA is a Master's of Business Administration degree. In 1977, through 1981, he was a chief budget officer for Governor Dixie Lee Ray. From 1985 to 1990, he was a chief budget officer for Governor Bruce Gardner. In 1990, he joined Starbucks as a Starbucks CFO. A CFO is a chief financial officer, which means he handles all the money. From 2000 to 2005, and he was a chief executive officer for Starbucks. That means he runs Starbucks, basically. In 2005, six, he served on the board of the Walt Disney Company, which is a very famous company because it's Disney. In 2009, he got a job on the UW Board of Regents. That's like the University of Washington School Board. And on March 1st, 2018, he died. As you know, he was born on June 26th. His mom was Renetta Smith and his dad was Curtis Smith. Most of his childhood was spent in Chehalis. When Orrin Smith was a child, his family was very poor. But even though they were poor, and his family took him to the library because books were free there and he loved to read. Orrin Smith, as you know, went to WF West, the local high school here. And in WF West, he, went, he was in the state championships in basketball. And he was also, he also played baseball and he was pretty good at it. I didn't know that. After high school, he went to Centralia Community College and the um, University of Washington and, and Harvard, Harvard Business, Business School. I guess if you want a good education, you must go to a lot of colleges. This is a picture of his basketball team with the trophies they won. The one that is circled right here is Mr. Orrin Smith. Orrin Smith, as you know, was a chief budget officer for two governors. Um, Governor Di Dixie Lee Ray and Governor Bruce Gardner. When he was chief ex executive officer, or CEO, from 2000 to his retirement in 2005, Starbucks went from 45 stores to, to over 10,000 10, stores. In 33 different countries. That's a lot of coffee. I know. <laughs> <laughs> he also, next in his life, he became the director of Nike and on the board of Walt Disney Company. He was also on the UW Board of Regents, as we said earlier. What is the Board of Regents, Nathan? As I said earlier, it, the Board of Regents is the school board for the UW. And they take care of the um, problems. Like He received many professional awards, including... The Alumni Achievement Award from Harvard, making him one of only 92 graduates who got it out of 50,000 who had the chance. That's very... wow. <laughs> and he got the Foster School's Distinguished Leadership Award from the UW. This is Arn with coffee beans at Starbucks. A bunch of them. When it came to his attitude, he was very generous, caring, and thankful for the people who worked around him. For example, Anna Marie Kaus, president of the UW, who said, Orrin combined kindness, kindness and humility, humility with a drive for changing, changing the world. Orrin truly loved improving the lives of kids in the community where he grew up. 
This picture shows Oren and his mother cutting the ceremonial ribbon during the opening of the Timberland Regional Library in 2008. One of the things Oren is most known for <coughs> is donating $10 million to the Shahis Foundation. And he also supported and named the Shaw Aquatic Center after, after her after his good friend Gail Shaw. If you don't get too many yellow cards, then you're going to go there. <laughs> he donated a lot of money to build the Vernetta Smith Timberland Regional Library, which is named after his mother. I've been there and it's great. It's got a lot of books. And movies and anything else. Yeah. Pretty much anything you want if it has to do with books. A lot of people were involved in building the Orrin Smith Elementary. The Shaw family donated a lot of property. 42, 42 acres. acres. That field out there was only 5 acres. The Shahil School District passed a $36, $36 million, million dollar bond. That's a tax. To pay for the new schools. The McLanahan Architects, those are the people who designed the school, designed the schools to look like they belong to the, they belong to the Northwest by, by using, using wood and, and, and other Northwest materials. Because in the Southeast, they would use concrete instead of wood. Mostly concrete, yeah. But in our school, we only use concrete for the foundation. And nothing else. That's like what keeps the um, building from collapsing. Yeah. Form Construction is a company that's actually building the school. We met some of them. And this is a picture from two months ago. This is the Lintot Elementary, and this is Orrin Smith Elementary. Lintot is almost done, and Orrin Smith Elementary has a few walls up. That This picture was taken about two months ago. So right now, they're, they've already started on the second floor. This is the, the Orange Smith Elementary. The first. Smith. This line right here, it's a foldable wall. So, and this is the stage. So, if there is a musical, you can take out this wall and, and use the lunchroom for seating. more seating. And if you had a barbecue, barbecue, you can take out the wall and use the gym for seating. So, you so really and it's a win-win. <laughs> And if it's just a normal school day, you can put the wall back up for lunchroom and a separate gym. This is the second floor. And this line is the bridge in the school that connects the two wings. This is the third grade wing. The rest of the third grade wing. This, this is the third and special um, special needs. ed. And, and this is the fifth grade wing where we will be if it gets built in time. True. And this is the rest of the fourth group. Third. Just fourth. the fourth. Yeah, this is the fourth. And this is the library. And if you go down the stairs of the bridge, right here is a double doors that leads in to yeah. the um, courtyard. We'll talk more about that. And these yellow green boxes are shared learning spaces. This is what they're hoping the schools will look like when they're done. And as you can see, th these right here and right here are the um, courtyards. And these are sidewalks that lead to the middle school. And we'll also talk about those later in the next slide. Smith yeah. Elementary and Lintard Elementary are symmetrical, so yeah. they're both shaped like a horseshoe. You can see that in the slide that we just saw. See, this is a horseshoe, and then it's like flipped around in another horseshoe. The Orange Smith Elementary School is made out of lots of materials, so many that we can only tell you a few. The beams in the schools are called laminated fur beams. Instead of one solid beam, it's a lot of beams laminated together. Laminated, in this case, means... Super glue. <laughs> and if you can believe it, lots of beams glued together is stronger than one solid beam. Even these beams are laminated, if you look at them closely. 
Some of our favorite special features are that in the middle of the horseshoe shaped school, there's courtyard, which we talked about, and the and there's a sidewalk that leads to the Shales Metal School. There's a bridge that connects the entrance that connects the grades over the entrance to the courtyard. And that's going to be fun because you can be on the bridge and look down into the lunchroom so you can like spy on your friends. As you can see here. And shared learning spaces. Shared, shared learning, learning spaces. spaces are places where kids like us can work on projects without being in the hallway and disrupting other classrooms. And, and being disturbed by other classrooms. Shared learning spaces, as we said, are the, the yellow, greenish spaces. And it's like someone punched a hole um, out of the wall and made a little, um, a little room in the wall because it's like a tiny classroom in the wall. Here are our top three sources. We used a lot, but these are our top three. And the central question again is, why did Chehalis name the school after Mr. Orrin Smith? Chehalis named the school after Mr. Orrin Smith because, because he, he has a lot of history here and he's a good role model to kids in Chehalis because he's very generous by donating all the money and by just being very kind.